Hi, I'm Dan Coleman. I am a biology teacher here at Noonan High School, and I've been here since 1979. How did you become a teacher at Noonan High School? Um, the college I went to, Ball State, was up in Indiana. I had never been to Georgia before that. And they had a recruitment program there, and one of the recruiters happened to be from Coweta County Schools. So I was willing and ready to go anywhere and interviewed with them, got a call back, came down here for an interview with the principal at the time, Mr. Cunningham, and as the interview ended, he offered me the job, and I said, where do I sign? And I've been here ever since. Um, what is the most challenging aspect of your job? Oh, boy, that's a tough one. Uh, when you like the subject that you're doing, there isn't that much that's challenging. Um, obviously, you, you have to deal with individual personalities of students, of peers, of uh, parents, and things like that. And so you have to be very adaptable and still maintain some integrity. So that plus... It, today there's a lot more technology and I'm frank I'm not very technology oriented shall we say and so some of that can be a challenge. What part of the job do you enjoy the most? Oh the topic and the kids believe it or not. Uh, I, I really enjoy a lot of the students interacting with them uh, and uh, most of the time. Um, but the, I guess it's the subject that I teach. I just, I've always loved it since I was really a little kid, 18 months old. I've loved biology and, and all aspects of life, and I just try and share that with, with everybody. So as long as I can uh, try and share what knowledge I have and insights, uh, whether it be about life or knowledge or uh, psh, biology, there we go. Um. What do you think is the relationship between Noonan High School and the community? How important is that relationship to you? Oh, I think it's extremely important. Uh, Noonan, Noonan High School, you can't separate the two. There's so many people here that have an invested interest in this, in this, class, in this school. I, I mean, it's been here since the beginning. Uh, I'm not sure when the original school started. I know this particular campus has been here since 1952, uh, but... You know, so many alumni are in business around here. They live around here. Their children, their grandchildren, generations have gone here. It's an institution. And the integrity of our kids that graduate needs to be maintained. Their uh, intellectual integrity, their uh, social integrity. I think we try, even the, the teachers that have never been to this community and are new to the school, I think they realize that real quick. Um, in your opinion, what has always made Newton High School a special place to attend school? To attend school? For your students. Oh, uh, for the students. Okay. Um, well, part of it is tradition. I think it's important that they, they see in their own community um, how traditions are carried on and what they are. There, there's some of that, and they, some of them get to start their own. Uh, they see a connection with either other family members or you know friends in, in the area, maybe a few famous people every once in a while. Um, and, and plus, obviously, the education that we teachers try and provide is at a high level. It is at a high level, and hopefully we encourage them to perform at a higher level than what they think they can. Do you recall any historical events occurring that you heard about while at school? While at school? Uh, the the first one that really comes to mind is uh, when John Lennon was murdered. Okay, that happened uh, 1980, 81, somewhere back in there. It was, it was early part of my career. And uh, I remember that. And it didn't happen while we were at school, obviously. It happened at night. But uh, it was a little bit of a discussion the next day. And <laughs> I'll never forget, we were talking about... Uh, that and I overheard a student and at that point Paul McCartney who was of course part of Beatles also was in Wings and I heard one student comment to the other one hey did you hear that Paul McCartney was in a group before Wings and that just kind of showed me that oops generations are changing <gasps> so that was the first one probably the second one that I remember vividly was the Challenger explosion and 
I remember that for a couple reasons. First of all, it was a teacher work day, and so I was in my classroom grading papers or doing whatever we do on work day, and somebody came in and told me about it. And one of the reasons that that sort of hit me is that I was one of the teachers that applied to be on that. And uh, I remember the radio station called me up later on and said, knowing what happened, would you still do it? And I said, absolutely. And even now, I would still do it. I think, you know, growing up during that early part of the, the space race and everything, watching all the Mercury and Gemini and Apollo and then the, the uh, space shuttle, oh, that, that was a dream of most of us, and I would still do that even today. Um, of course, I remember the 9-11. The that's, that's another one that happened. I was, we were teaching class first block, and um, I don't remember if it was email or somebody came in and said about it, and we turned on the TV, and we watched the second tower get hit. We didn't understand exactly what was happening. And so we kept it on during class, and then we realized that they were coming down. And none of us really grasped the situation, not the students, uh, which is, it was a senior AP class at the time. Uh, but myself and, and um, the, the students, I don't think we really grasped what was happening. It, it took a little while for that to sink in, but those are some things we definitely remember. Or when O.J. Simpson got off, oh, boy, you talk about an uproar. Oh, we heard about that over lunch, and all of us were all upset. So I'll quit boring you, and that's, those are just some that I can think of. Well, thank you very much, and we appreciate being a teacher here at Noonan High School. Well, I appreciate all being students, and I love this project. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.